Welcome back. In today's lesson, we will learn how to install your very first WordPress site. Our first step in this case would be to access our domain. For demonstration purposes, we will use a domain onlyonepenny.com. So, once you do that, you will log in with your username and password, which you should have gotten in your welcome email from your hosting company. Basically, when you sign up for a hosting platform like HostGator for WordPress or Bluehost, you should fill in your details, buy the hosting service, and get a welcome email with login details. If you're not sure what hosting is, I would say managed WordPress hosting is a concierge service where all technical aspects of running WordPress site is managed by the host. This includes security, speed, WordPress updates, daily backups, website uptime, and scalability. Now, once we do that, we can log into our cPanel and scroll down where we see WordPress. So we click on that. And then you're going to see right here a blue button that says install. We click on that. Now we want to install the WordPress blog, right? We will do that on the root of this domain for demonstration. In this case, we use onlyonepenny.com, and that's it. That's where you will see your blog. Then you can see here option called in directories. We're going to leave that blank. However, remember if we don't want this blog to use up the whole domain name, but instead would be onlyonepenny.com slash blog, then you would put the word blog right here. But our blog will use up the whole domain. So in this case, we leave this blank. Now, right here, where it says database name, we suggest you to add just a couple of random letters here. For example, I'm going to write PC here instead of WP. What that does is it makes it a little bit harder for hackers to hack our site in the future. WordPress stores its information in a database. Therefore, a database will need to be created. So, same thing right here where it says table prefix, we change that to PC as well. So now, what we do here is where it says site name, you can call it your company name instead of leaving it as default my blog. So I'm just going to call it one penny, then get hosting for one penny. Of course, you can create more of an attention grabbing title than this. Down here, where it says admin username, you want to make sure you don't leave this as admin because that also is a security issue and makes it easier for other people to hack into your site. So let's name it also one penny for the username because the site is only one penny.com. Actually, you would want to use that as a name as it is similar to domain. You'd want to use something like your full name with no spaces instead. That will be more secure. But for demonstration purposes, I will leave it this way and then for the password again, you want to use a secure password. So what we normally use is LastPass and then we'll click on Generate Secure Password. LastPass is one of the best password managers and generators and Vault for free today. LastPass makes and remembers your passwords so you don't have to. As you can see here, it gives a nice long crazy password like that. And so all we do is copy and paste it like this. Then when it comes to your email, you're going to put your own email. In this case, I'm going to leave this black because it can be changed at a later stage. Then we scroll down here and then you're going to see limit logging attempts option. You want to click on that because if you don't do this, then when somebody uses software to hack in your site, it will make it very easy for them. But if you limit logins, what will happen is each user will get a limit of three logging attempts, and then they have to wait for 10 or 20 minutes before they can try again, which is a very good way to help secure your WordPress blog. So once we do that, we simply come down here and we click on install. Now, since we've done that, you can see it only takes about a minute to install a WordPress. Next, we can see that our blog is actually installed. If you want to go into the back end of this blog, then you should use the other link where you can log in in order to get into the back door or the admin area.